On September 20, President of Turkmenistan, Gurban Gulaybird Mohamedov, made a speech at the session of the 65th UN General Assembly. Esteemed Mr. President, esteemed Mr. Secretary General, distinguished heads of delegations, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the people and government of Turkmenistan, I cordially welcome and congratulate you on the beginning of the 65th session of the United Nations General Assembly. I congratulate Mr. Joseph Dice on being elected President of the UN General Assembly and express confidence that the General Assembly will work successfully and fruitfully under his leadership. I also would like to express our gratitude to esteemed Mr. Ali Abdus Salam Atreki, President of the 64th Session of the General Assembly, for the effective activity at this post. Esteemed Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, this year our country is preparing to widely celebrate a remarkable date, the 15th anniversary of Turkmenistan's neutrality. It was within the walls of the United Nations that our desire of being a neutral, peaceful, non-aligned country acquired support of the whole international community and became a reality. Throughout all these years, Turkmenistan has remained committed to this choice based on clear understanding of its role and place in contemporary world and strict fulfillment of international obligations assumed. From this high tribune, I am addressing all UN member states and the community of nations to express gratitude for rendering support and assistance in implementing our international initiatives. For us, neutrality is not just a legal status. It is an active position, a full-scale involvement in international processes through peacemaking and assisting in working out effective models of economic cooperation. This also includes provision of a political platform for solving problems both within the region and beyond for the purpose of consolidating peace, security and creating favorable conditions for sustainable development and progress. This is the main purpose and content of our steps and initiatives in the world arena. Turkmenistan's approach to contemporary problems is based on confidence in the ability of the international community to find right solutions, overcome stereotypes, free itself from the burden of inertial thinking and attain a new view on perspectives of global interaction. We call this a strategy of the future, implying achievement of a wide and stable international consensus on key development issues, namely political, socio-economic, energy and ecological matters. Due to objective reasons, issues of economic cooperation possess particular importance for Turkmenistan. A strategic priority for us in this area is diversification of energy routes, provision of a new multi-optional pipeline infrastructure. We have started working actively in this direction based on clearly defined principles of a state policy in this field, realistic evaluation of our own resource base and possibilities of its long-term exploitation. Last year, a construction of new Turkmenistan-China and Turkmenistan-Iran pipelines 
have been completed successfully in cooperation with our partners. We consider them as a real contribution to international energy cooperation, as an effective stabilizing factor, which will positively influence a general situation and provide additional steadiness to the whole system of political and economic ties in the Asian continent. Today we are actively working on implementing another project, a Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India gas pipeline, being convinced that it is beneficial for all parties involved. The project will promote economical upturn, create a large number of additional workplaces, form a social infrastructure in support and consolidate political stability in the region. Currently, issues are equal, uninterrupted and secure access to energy sources and means of their transportation have assumed global importance, exerting increasing impact on the general situation in the world, nature and lines of international cooperation, level of engagement of states and regions in development processes. This requires raising this issue to the UN level, working out common principles and intelligible regulations of relations between producers, transit countries and consumers under the United Nations auspices. In this connection, Turkmenistan intends to make a statement in the course of the current session, initiating adoption of a General Assembly resolution on creation under the UN auspices of an expert group that would develop an international mechanism of stable energy supply in the world. We understand that working on such mechanism requires from the international community time and effort, responsibility, flexibility, and readiness for sensible compromise and calling a political, diplomatic, intellectual, financial and organizational resources. However, we are also convinced that from the standpoint of global security and stability, strategic benefits and advantages will immeasurably surpass all costs and expenses. Obviously, in current conditions, only the United Nations, with its unique legitimacy, enormous moral authority, available legal regulators and extensive experience in supplement of issues of universal importance, is able to give stimulus to this process, provide conditions for broad dialogue and act as a guarantor in case agreements are reached. The world community has an understanding that the problem of globally secure and reliable transit of energy carriers requires multilateral discussion. In confirmation of the above, in 2008, the General Assembly supported our initiative on commencement of such dialogue, which is already being held within various international and regional meetings. We believe that we need to move forward and raise it to a brand new institutional level. Therefore, Turkmenistan suggests considering a matter of creating a perspective, a special body, the United Nations Energy Council. The purpose and content of its activity is providing political format and organizational conditions for a systematic professional discussion of the range of problems related to energy. With due respect, we call on all UN member states to formulate their suggestions in the light of this initiative. Esteemed Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, ten years ago, in its declaration, the Millennium Summit proclaimed all UN member states responsible for the destinies of the planet. For Turkmenistan, Millennium Development Goals have organically fit into our own development plans, 
merged with ideology and outlook of the reform of the national economy, social sphere and public relations, and mostly defined lines of cooperation on the world arena. Turkmenistan has set a strategic course for active participation in broad international partnership from the position of peaceful, politically stable, economically strong state, arrangement of multidimensional regional cooperation based on compliance and compatibility of interests of various countries and support of own and other large-scale international projects involving regional and non-regional countries and companies. Due to geographical peculiarities of Central Asia and the Caspian Basin, development of transport and communication areas seems perspective here. Creation in the region of modern, extensive infrastructure of railway and highway services and network of communications is able to give a great impetus to a successful integration of our countries into the process of the global economic development. This will ensure an investment inflow, create conditions for an effective cooperation within the scope of intercontinental economic realities on the Eurasian space in north-south and east-west directions. We suggest that the United Nations keenly considers perspectives of development of transport and communication infrastructure in Central Asia and the Caspian Basin, and thereby are ready for the closest cooperation. We consider reasonable that the United Nations specialized structures get actively involved into this work. Economic Commission for Europe Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific being in the first place. The pivotal component of achieving the Millennium Development Goals in the region is solving serious ecological problems. First of all, saving the Aral Sea and rehabilitating unique natural resources of the Caspian Sea. More specifically, we consider it necessary to create a special international expert group, which, in collaboration with the UN and its structures, could prepare a comprehensive international legal document on saving the Aral Sea. The action is to be taken today, based on the Memorandum of Understanding between the United Nations and the Executive Committee of the International Fund for Saving the RLC, signed in Ashgabat on March 3, 2010. Overall, we consider it reasonable to find an opportunity for immediate presence of the United Nations specialized structures in Central Asia and the Caspian Basin. In the first place, we count on the United Nations Environment Program to work here actively. We propose to consider the issue of establishing a UNEP regional office in one of the regional countries. Turkmenistan is ready to provide the necessary infrastructure for this purpose. The critical problem directly connected with the ecology is the use of water resources. More specifically, in Central Asia, the rational use of water is one of the determining factors having a significant impact on the dynamics of the socio-economic development of our countries. Turkmenistan views the settlement of water disputes on the basis of universally recognized norms of international law with regard to interests of all countries of the region, with the world community represented by the United Nations and other reputable international organizations being actively involved.